Rapid pregnancy, Jake Busey, and tree people. What could possibly go wrong? What about a bear? Arbor Demon is directed by Patrick Ri Ria, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, and it stars Rob Boughton and Fiona Dorif and Jake Busey. And it tells the story of a couple who, you know, goes hiking in the woods to reconnect, and they stumble upon a, an injured hunter, and they're being stalked by tree demons or something outside their tent. <sighs> I don't really know what to say about this one. I mean, I literally it gave me it gave me next to nothing. I didn't really have many expect any expectations going into it, so I didn't know what to really what I was in for. And I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, I really can't talk too much about this one because, like I said, it didn't give me much. So I'm just gonna dive right into it. Acting's fine. Fiona Dorif usually like I'm not. I wasn't surprised that she gave a good performance because she's a very good actress. Um. The husband was whatever, Rob, he was fine. Jake Busey was, he was Jake Busey. He was, you know, over the top and silly and it's, it's Jake Busey. I can't really say much else about that. Very nice practical effects work. I can say that much. The problem is this movie is just so standard. I'm having trouble talking about it because there's nothing really to talk about. It's very just bland. The pacing is really off. It takes like 40 minutes to get going. Even the cinematography is just very, basic. There's nothing special about it. There's nothing unique about it. It's just very standard and very just kind of like, I just got out of film school. I have a nice camera. Let me go make a movie. And it, I'm all for low budget filmmaking. I mean, really it's, it's excellent. But in this case, I mean, it's like, you can tell that it was low budget because so much happens off camera. And that's, that can be a good thing. It can be really good when you're choosing to keep like certain things hidden because, you know, it, it builds in your imagination and is better in your mind than it is on screen. But in this case, it really just feels cheap and lazy. It's like, we can't afford to do this. Let's have it happen off camera. Let's have all the action in the scene happen off camera because we can't afford to or figure out how to do it. So it just really feels like it feels very amateurish, which is a shame because this is a very nice looking movie aesthetically, but Lord, is, is, is it fall flat in a lot of ways. I mean, nothing really feels earned. It just feels like things happen and that's it. I mean, you're not really, you never really get any insight into these characters aside from, oh, the husband doesn't want kids. He's kind of, he, he wants to go on tour and play music. And that's like, that's it. It's really awkward. And you don't really, like, there's no, there's no real reason to sympathize with these characters aside from, oh, well, they act like normal people would. This whole thing just feels very, it feels very rushed, if that makes sense, which is kind of, kind of ironic given the fact that it takes, like, 40 minutes to just even get into, like, the, the main, like, part of the plot. Overall, I, I just thought, I found it to be really, I don't know, disappointing, I think is probably the best way I could put it. It was not a film that I regret watching. I mean, I watched it once. I will never watch it again. Of the films I reviewed this past week, this is by far the strongest of the three, but that's not really saying much. And I mean, overall, I'm gonna say that Arbor Demon is just a resounding meh. It's totally forgettable. It's really, there's nothing to it. I'm apologize for the fact that I'm saying nothing in this review. It's because there's nothing for me to say. This movie gave me nothing to talk about. It's really weak. It's really bland. It's like the film equivalent of like, you know, those wax lips that are supposed to like be candy, but they're not. And they're just kind of disgusting. It's like that. And it offers really nothing at all. It's just kind of lame and weak. And I'm really, you know, disappointed overall. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and if you like this and me and the other guys, they'll be back soon, I promise. Um, yeah, click down there and like and comment and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. I won't let you do this. Baby, we have no choice.